wife, and she is in the person of Minister Rhonda Butler. She is the wife of Deacon Aaron Butler. She is the mom of Alicia, Jerron, Amaya, Jared, and a grand um, grandma. Grand. She is the grand. <laughs> of a grandson, Dominique. Amen. And she's just grand. She said. <laughs> Amen. But God is good. She is our baby sister. Amen. And we thank God for our life, but we want to give it to her at this time when she can get to us what God has given to her to give to us. Receive right this time by hand praise. First, I want to give honor to my pastor and people in the building. Amen. And I would just like to thank God for what he's done for me yes. and what he's continuing to do for me. Because I've, I've been praying for so long. I know. I know. I know. Thank you, Jesus. And you don't really, you don't really know what you have to have to prove it. So I'm going to go Grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's the message. She was asking, like, aren't you excited? I'm like, I am. I'm like, I'm going to do it. Let's go to the place. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I'm so grateful for everybody. Who just took care of me as she left me to make sure it was okay. And just let me be there when I needed some work. Just let me talk when I need to talk. And then it makes me real. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to show me he's through. And I'm just like, well, I have family and friends there to help me. Because I was trying so hard to stay strong from my mother to my father. And I was just trying to do so much. And I was just doing so much. And I was just thankful. And I don't know what else to say. I just have to do this. Oh, yeah. 
open up doors for us, Lord Jesus. Just remove the scales from our eyes, Lord Jesus. Just let us realize that you are a good God. Lord, you are an awesome God, a, a wonder-working God. Lord, you are a way-making God. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for you are the source. Lord, I can't say it enough, Lord. You are our source from which all of our blessings flow. Lord, no matter what mechanism you use to get the blessing to us, Lord, you are the source. Lord, we thank you, Father, in advance for overflow. Lord, we thank you, Father, for, for allowing us to be able to be a blessing for somebody else on this day, on this week, on this year. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for the service thus far, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for all of the consecration services. Lord, we just claim, Lord, souls, Lord Jesus, being saved, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just claim hearts being cleansed, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just claim hurts being healed, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, Father, for everything, Lord Jesus. And we will be grateful. We, we will be careful to always give you all the praise, to give you all the glory and the honor which belongs to you. These and all of the blessings, bless me in mighty name, we pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 This morning, we will be coming out of the book of John, first chapter, 43rd verse, 3 to 49th. Should be familiar to those in this, at least in this church, amen, for it was a recent Sunday school lesson. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wasn't expecting to cry, so I need to go <laughs> now. <clears throat> and I do have hands down a father for those of you who are, <laughs> who are jo joining us on Facebook, amen, or either YouTube or Zoom. <laughs> Amen. John 1, beginning at verse 43. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Mm -hmm. Philip said to him, come and see. Verse 47, Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, behold, an Israelite indeed, and in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, how do you know me? And Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathaniel answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Amen. We thank God for his blessed word. Now, uh, most of you know that we have been in consecration, amen, for the past nine days. This will be the 10th day of consecration. Amen. And in the consecration message, excuse me, the consecration message, the Lord laid on my heart. Amen. What he gave me to say was to come and see. Yeah. Amen. And that message came from John chapter one, as well as what we're coming from today. Amen. And the incidents are recounted there occur before the passages of scripture on today. Now, in verses 35 and 39, John the Baptist has been baptizing people in the wilderness, but he also has been telling the people that he is the forerunner. Yeah. Someone is coming whose shoes he is not worthy to untie. And then he sees Jesus walking down the path and he proclaims him to be the Lamb of God. Now on hearing this, the two disciples of John leave him and they begin to follow Jesus. They asked Jesus where he was staying. And he invited them to come and see. Now, in that sermon, I was led to talk about every Christian being the church and how we all have followers who are trying to come and see yes. how we are living. But with the main question being, what will they see when they come to our house? Mm -hmm. Amen. Today's topic, come and see part two. All right. Show and tell. <laughs> uh -oh. Amen. The phrase, Hallelujah. come and see. 
is defined as going to a particular area with a specified purpose. When you tell someone to come and see, you normally do so because you cannot adequately describe to them what is taking place or they would need to see the situation with their own eyes in order for them to believe it. Psalms 46 and 8, come and see what the Lord has done. Psalms 66 and 5, come and see what God has done. Isaiah 66 and 18, and they will come and see my glory. Yeah. Matthew 28 and 6, he is not here. He is risen just as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord lay. Yeah. Amen. Now, in these biblical situations, the adage, I can show you better than I can tell you, would apply. Because our mere words cannot explain the beauty of nature or the splendor of God's glory or the fact that the stone was rolled away and a burial shroud was left intact and a body was missing in the borrowed tomb of Jesus Christ. Now, in the first chapter of John, the phrase come and see is, is used twice. Again, you have the situation I alluded to earlier in my consecration sermon concerning the two disciples following Jesus, who asked Jesus where he was staying, and the Lord said, come and see. That was verse 39. Then you have our scripture passage today. Verse 46, and Nathaniel said to them, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said to him, come and see. Amen. The context of today's scriptures. It is time for Jesus to start his earthly ministry. His disciples, the ones who would be part of his inner circle, are being chosen. For we know that many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. And Christ has chosen Andrew, Peter, and Philip. Philip is so excited that they have found the Messiah the one prophesied about the scriptures, the one that Moses wrote about, that he locates his friend Nathaniel to convey the good news. Now, can you imagine? The timing was right based on the prophecies and you had searched all over. You thought you had found the Messiah when you heard about that man baptizing people in the wilderness with the holy boldness to call out the religious leaders and political leaders, but he wasn't the Messiah. Amen. You searched all over and didn't find him in the king's palace. You searched all over and you didn't find him among the Pharisees or the Sadducees. You searched all over and you didn't find him in the military. You searched all over and you found him, Jesus Christ, in Nazareth. Little, tiny, small, and insignificant Nazareth. Not a military fortress, not a great shipping port, not the center of academia, but yeah, just plain old Nazareth. Yeah. Naturally speaking, Nathaniel questioned, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yeah. Now, because just like many of us, Nathaniel was, we expect the best gifts to be the biggest and the shiniest and the flashiest, the ones with the big red bows. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, this is not the case. Amen. Amen. Parents, you should be able to attest to Christmas, for instance, how you went out of your way trying to find that popular toy that everyone said that your child must have. The child opened the, opened the present. They were excited for a minute. They played with it a couple of times. But then afterwards, they started playing with that cheap $5 gift that you got from Family Dollar because you thought they might like it. Amen. Amen. A personal example that I have is for my 22-year-old daughter, Alicia. Amen. And again, since this is being broadcast, you may not know her. Amen. But for Christmas, amen, she got a TV because she had this tiny, small TV that she was taking back and, back and forth to college. Amen. She got something that she needed for her car. Amen. Something that would help her out as she's traveling up and down the road. But what was Alicia most excited about? That $15 karaoke mic that came from Walmart. Amen. She took pictures with it. Amen. She posted it on Facebook and on Instagram. Amen. She went to everybody's house with her mic. Amen. She even came into the house of the Lord with her mic. Amen. Not the biggest, not the shiniest, not the flashiest. Amen. But the one that you needed. Amen. 
But to answer Nathaniel's question, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip simply said, come and see. Sometimes the best answer is the simplest. Philip didn't feel the need to answer. I mean, he didn't feel the need to build a case or to wage a compelling argument. Instead, his methodology was, I can show you better than I can tell you. Just come and see. Amen. And what happened when Nathaniel encountered Jesus? According to verse 47, before Nathaniel even opened up his mouth, Jesus said, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Now, apparently, this was a good description of Nathaniel because his response was, How do you know me? (laughs) Amen. And to prove to Nathaniel that he didn't know him because Philip had said something about him, Jesus responded with a word of wisdom that he should that he should and could not possibly know in the natural. Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip even called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Uh Amen. Now, for those of us living now, this may not seem like a big thing. Amen. But we have to realize that this was before telephones and this was before cameras. Amen. Amen. Nathaniel did not post on Facebook that he was sitting under a fig tree enjoying his day. Amen. So when Jesus told him this fact, amen, that was all he needed. Nathaniel answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Amen. And just like Nathaniel, we need to realize that Jesus knows and he sees us before we're even thinking about him. Amen. Even while we're doing what we do, he still loves us and he has a plan for us. Amen. He keeps his shield of protection around us and he allows his grace and his mercy to cover us. Amen. Waiting for us to come and see for ourselves who he really is. Amen. Amen. Come and see. Amen. In chapter 4 of John, Jesus has a similar situation to occur between him and the Samaritan woman at the well. Amen. Many of you know the story. Jesus asks for a drink of water and the woman tells Jesus that Jews and Samaritans don't have anything to do with one another. Then he tells her about the living water where she would never thirst again. He also tells her about her five past husbands and about her current boyfriend. Amen. John 4, 28 through 29. The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the men, come see a man who told me all the things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Amen. Come and see. With all the turmoil and tribulation that's occurring in today's world, people are searching for an answer to their problems. Amen. Amen. Everyone was so happy to be rid of the year 2020 and all the unprecedented death and destruction that that had occurred in that year. Amen. But I saw a Facebook, another Facebook post where someone was asking if they could end their subscription to the year 2021, that they had experienced the seven day trial period and decided that they were not interested. Amen. It was a joke. But guess what? The enemy could have killed us all in the first seven days of this year. Amen. And he would have if he could have. Amen. If he could have killed us in 2020, he would have. Amen. He doesn't care what year it is. His job is killing, stealing, lying, and destroying. He has a limited amount of time before Jesus cracks the sky. And he wants to get as many of us as he can to join him in hell and the lake of fire. Amen. But for God's grace and God's mercy. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. People are searching all over trying to make sense. Yes. And then they look to the White House, but guess what? There was no help. And then they look to the Pope, but guess what? There was no help. They look to drinks. They look to drugs. They look to all types of debauchery. But the answer has been here all the time. Amen. Seemingly small and insignificant. The same Jesus that your grandma prayed about. And then the same Jesus that your grandma sang to. When I need him. Oh, when I need him most. Jesus steps right in. When I need him most. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Amen. Come and see. Hallelujah. Come and see. Hallelujah. Come and see. Amen. No matter what's going on in your life, come and see. Give him a try. Amen. You've tried everything else. Amen. What about Jesus? Amen. People are so quick to try this religion here.
Amen. The God not made with our hands. Amen. But the one true and living God. Amen. Come and see him. Amen. Come and try him. Hallelujah. I guarantee you won't want to turn him in after seven days. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Nathaniel answered the call. Amen. He did not argue with Philip as to why he should not go, but he just simply went. Revelations 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Yeah. Amen. When we hear the call, we need to come and see for ourselves. Amen. Again, we can't make it on the prayers of grandma and mom and him. Amen. But we need to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't have words to describe how Jesus changed my life. I cannot adequately mm -hmm. explain my relationship with him or how he makes me feel. Yeah. Amen. I cannot tell you the doors that he has opened up for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I cannot tell you how many times he's healed my body. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I can offer you a chance to come and see for yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Everyone is different. Everyone's background is different. Everyone has different life experiences. Yeah. Amen. But do not despise small beginnings. That's right. Amen. You will not become the super Christian overnight. Again, you will not become the super Christian overnight. Amen. So when somebody persecutes you, amen, when you slip up, amen, let them know that you are a work in progress. Hallelujah. Amen. And a work in progress does not mean that you stay stagnant. That's Amen. Right. It doesn't mean that you're still a baby Christian after 20 years. That's Amen. Right. But it means that you're seeking the Lord. Amen. Amen. It means that Amen. you're reading his word. Amen. It means that you're conversing with Bible believing people. Yeah. Not the I feel, not the I think. Amen. But what thus says the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Because we all make mistakes. But remember, while we were at our worst, Christ died for us. Amen. But the first step is we have to come and see and watch God show you better than what I can tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Come and see. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That little man from Nazareth. Amen. The one that nobody thought about. The one that was the natural son of a carpenter. Amen. But yes. who was God incarnate, who yes. is the word. Amen. Who is the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. Yes, who is the giver of our life. Amen. Who is the reason we have grace and mercy. Amen. Come and see. Amen. This man. Amen. And establish a relationship for yourself. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you, God. Amen. Again, and he can show you better than I can tell you. Amen. For if you're dependent on people, people will let you down. Amen. Amen. People will let you down. Amen. People who you think are saved or who you think are living like they're supposed to live, amen, may let you down. But then, but if you're looking into God, amen, you don't have to worry about being disappointed. Amen. If you're looking to God, you don't have to worry about getting misinformation. Amen. If you're looking to God, you don't have to worry about him telling you to get in the hundred dollar, thousand dollar, five hundred dollar prayer line. Amen. Because if you give this offering. Amen. You're going to get this within a certain amount of days, and it turns out to be a lie. Amen. If you're looking to God, amen, God will speak to your heart directly. Yes, Lord. Amen. Again, you won't be super Christian overnight. Amen. But it is a process. Yes, amen. Lord. And He won't leave you, nor will He forsake you. Father God, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we come to you, Lord Jesus. Again, God, we're thanking you, Father, for all the things that you have done. Oh, Lord, look over the congregation. Look over to the ones that we're speaking to, Lord Jesus. Those who have a desire, Lord Jesus, to come and meet with you, to come and see with you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, let them know, Lord Jesus, that you are God and you are God alone, Lord Jesus. Let them know that they have not been forgotten. Lord, no matter what their history is, no matter what things they have suffered, Lord, you were there all the time, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, it could have been worse, Lord Jesus, but you said not so, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Father, for thank you being Father. born of the Virgin Mary, yes, Lord Jesus. Lord. We thank you, Father, for you living, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for you dying on the cross, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord, but most importantly, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father, for you rising on the third day. Lord, having all power in your hands, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for everything, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for being so good, Lord Jesus. 
We thank you, Father, for just continue to watch over those who are living in the elements, Lord Jesus, those who are homeless, Lord Jesus, those who are living in orphanages, Lord Jesus, those who are in prison cells, Lord Jesus. Continue to touch those, Lord Jesus, whose minds aren't good, whose minds are cloudy, or who, who have been, amen, influenced by the wrong influence of Lord Jesus. Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Lord, we thank you, Father, for everything that you have done and you're going to do, Lord Jesus. Lord, it may not be financially, Lord Jesus, but it may be something in our bodies, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for keeping us through COVID, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for coming out being more than a conqueror, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for everything, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for you have not given us the spirit of fear, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we just thank you, Father, that you have given us love and, and a sound mind, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Father, for everything, Lord Jesus. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we magnify you. Lord, we adore you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, and just come into our hearts, Lord <laughs> Jesus. Turn us from our wicked ways, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. And just remove the desire, Lord Jesus, for us to do things that are that are unclean in your sight. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, we adore you. These and all of the blessings we ask in your mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. <laughs>